Good afternoon everyone. Francie here with uh, Van Chat. Today is Wednesday. <clears throat> so this is my first one for this week. And kind of update you what's going on and um, talk a little bit about uh, this teen retreat that I went on this weekend after my Florida trip. I went with our teens on a retreat and it's always nice. We kind of go out to a place and you just kind of hang out for a couple days and um, it's nice, it's peaceful. But I wanted to talk about the theme because it was, um, you know, it's a theme to how we should be living our lives and what I strive to do and I think a lot of you strive to do as well. So um, I was excited about that and just what's going on. Um, I have found somebody to stay with during the week and so I'm not driving back and forth as much you know originally I was gonna try and stay in my van and so I asked around tried to find places to park that were safe but everyone just kept telling me the area is not safe and you can't park at this Walmart because of this or that I would talk to churches about parking in their parking lots and one had had several things happen in their parking lot from a van catching on fire to a dead body being found in a car. Um, yeah, so I knew that was out. And then the other one was saying there's just too much traffic, people walking back and forth from the apartment complexes, and they didn't feel it was safe to park there. And so, you know, I thought, good night. Is it just this whole area that I'm in not a safe place? Um, or do we just go ahead and take chances? You know, I don't know. It's, you know, when I travel, you know, if I stop at a Walmart and spend the night, how am I going to know that that Walmart in that particular area is safe? I don't know that area at all. So, yeah, anyway. But we have had, I know in a city that I live near, there's been a shooting in a Walmart parking lot. So, you know, you kind of have to be wise and just see where God leads you. And for now, um, God has given someone to me um, and I'm staying, well, this is the first week. So just basically three nights. So today I'm heading home. Um, I spent Monday night and Tuesday night at their house. And it's uh, mom and one of my students and she's single and um, I think really just needs a friend and um, her daughter needs friends and I think that God's just put us together for a reason and um, you know they could probably help me out and I hope I can help them out just by being there and so forth so we'll see um, I do concern myself with my daughter because she's home and so I may worry about her more than she worries about being by herself. But um, she is almost an adult, but still, you know, it's it's scary. Uh, it just gives you something to worry about, I suppose. But I do try to just give it to God and let God protect her and me. And um, But I will say, not driving back and forth the last couple days I don't feel as worn out um, I can't say I'm just not tired I mean I think I get tired but I don't feel as worn out I think because I'm not having to make the drive and be in a car for you know two hours a day so who knows we'll see if it works out um, it may be something that doesn't work out I just have to drive every day or it could work out. Um, so I know the little dog that they have, he doesn't like me yet. Which is weird because I like animals so, but he's a little protective and doesn't really like me. So it makes me feel sad. But, but the one cool thing is in their backyard, they put out bird seed and stuff. And yesterday I saw a deer come up and he didn't come up and eat, but they said, that the deer come up a lot and just eat right off of their um, patio area so that's really exciting and there's just tons of birds to watch so I'm enjoying that um, I got to watch that a little bit last night so that's always cool um, so anyway the teen weekend was um, they 
our teens do a retreat in the fall and in the spring. So I went um, this year. I, I usually had gone for a while and then I stopped going mostly because I don't have anyone to watch my dogs and so my daughter goes and I stay home with the animals. Well this is her senior year so she would like me to go so we got someone to watch the dogs and I went and the theme was about if somebody asked you to go one mile go with them two miles which is you know found in the Bible and um, we sang the song about being a servant which is one of my favorite songs and it's something I try to be it's it's not easy you know um, I have selfish tendencies and you get tired and you don't necessarily always want to serve somebody else and um, but that is my goal and I hope one day I can travel and serve and find people to serve and I have found that there's so many other people that are doing this as well that they are actually traveling and able to be traveling right now and I was watching a video today I forget what YouTube channel I was watching I don't remember but part of me was you know a little bit of jealousy was coming out because I thought oh I just wish I could do it right now you know I just want to do it now and um, just losing patience you know but I know I'm not ready now it's not like I have a big savings um, I have a van but that doesn't mean that this van is going to be able to do it and um, you know I definitely need savings because if the van breaks down what would I do so just trying to be patient which means I probably should get a camping trip going I've been looking for some campgrounds for the first of November, but um, I don't know. I just haven't pinpointed one down and just kind of wondering about what the weather is going to be like. I don't know how cold it's going to get. Um, right now it's really nice, so maybe it will be nice. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on in my life right now. So I'm staying the night. Um, three nights is what I'm going to try and um, I'm heading home tonight and uh, I'll be home with my daughter and then I'll spend Thursday night where I work down by where I work and come home Friday for the weekend so that is exciting I always get excited on the weekends and um, just spend some time outside I hope because the weather should be nice and get rid of stuff in my garage that's, all, that's going to be my goal with the cooler weather, just to go through stuff in the garage and downsize and get rid of things. Whether I donate or do a garage sale or give it, I don't know. I really would like to just donate because it's quicker. I don't have to like pile stuff up for a garage sale. So we'll see. Um, some of my stuff, my crafting stuff, I was going to start downsizing that and basically just work on crocheting. Um, keep a sewing machine because they're always handy anyway. And um, my small group that I work with at the school that I teach at, I was asking them, what do you all want to do for Christmas gifts to make for people to give? And they had mentioned some bracelets or maybe some ornaments and stuff. And so, I have a lot of beads. So I'm gonna get that together, and I, bought, I found some stretchy bracelet stuff at the Dollar Tree. So I bought some of that. So I'm gonna take all my beads up there, I hope I remember, um, next week. And then that way, they can just go ahead and get started on bracelets, and we'll just get a collection of them made for them to give to people. So I'm um, gonna get that started with my small group. And as far as sending out my cards, I've only mailed two so far. You'd think it would be easy, you know, it's, and it's not. And that's why I have to be purposeful. That's, you know, part of having this YouTube channel is to make me accountable for trying to um, serve people and keep that my focus. So um, I even took the cards with me on the retreat thinking, well, I'll write some cards there. And well, that didn't happen. Um, I did crochet. I'm working on an afghan for a friend, so I'm crocheting that. And I worked on that um, the last few nights as well. Um, 
gives me something to do. Because since I'm not at my house, see, if I get home, I start cleaning, and you always find a hundred things to do, you know. So, but I'm not at home, so I just don't really have anything else to do but sit and crochet. So I worked on that. And my goal is to get that done by Christmas, so hopefully I'll get that done. I'd actually like to get some more done. I've got some more yarn to use, so I'd like to get that done too to give away to someone. I'm sure someone will come to my mind. Um, so I just want to touch base and do a video chat today on my way home. I'll probably do another one on Friday and um, try to pinpoint a camping spot for sometime in November. I really would like to go out. Um, I think one thing that keeps me well first the busyness of life you know when I sat there and watching another youtuber who's already out on the road and you know traveling and doing what she wants and I just sit there and think I'm so trapped I'm so trapped by this job or having to have a job to pay bills you know even if I didn't have um, rent and electricity and water and all of that I still have bills you know I've got my cell phone and other bills and student loans I'll have forever and ever so I always will have some bills and so I feel trapped sometimes like am I ever going to get out of this how can I make income on the road and and, and be able to make it so yeah, I just kind of get frustrated and thinking about all that. But it's a journey, and that's why I started this channel, is to kind of record this journey through its frustrations and how I figure it out. And I hope one day I can look back and think, um, I should have been more patient. You know, tell yourself, be more patient, because it's going to happen. But we can't see the future. So, um, but I do know if I have it as a goal, and... I think about it all the time um, it's it's going to happen and so because that's what I want um, now life might get in the way you know things can happen with my children you never know what's going to happen or where you're going to be needed something with my family could happen I've seen that happen to youtubers and they have to kind of pause their life for a little bit but that's okay um, that happens and we can do that pause our life and then we get back to our life on the road so anyway um, I'm gonna let you go it's uh, it's 12 minutes almost 13 minutes so far it's amazing because I'm driving and so and I have to drive a long way so so I don't notice how much time goes by just talking um, but it helps it helps me stay awake and um, like I said, I don't feel as tired since I haven't been driving it every single day. And because typically I'll be falling asleep while I'm driving, or you know, almost falling asleep. <laughs> I don't actually fall asleep. So maybe it's going to help me, um, especially the wear and tear on the van and on myself. So uh, I'll let you all go. And if you just joined me for the first time, um, my name is Francie. And just trying to find ways to or find a way so I can be, travel and find people to serve because I know that we will find joy by serving others so to all my subscribers find joy through serving and be blessed <laughs>